morning, everybody. It's been a while since I've recorded. I found out a week ago I was being laid off. Yesterday was my last day. It's been an interesting week. But I started this channel for new beginnings. And it looks like it's a new beginning. I have some jobs I'm going to apply for. But I have lots more time to make videos for you. So let's talk about what it's like to start over. Sometimes it's all there is to do. There's been several times in my life that I've started over. And this is a new one. But this time I'm committed to making healthier choices to defeating some of the strongholds that are still in my life and to trust God completely and totally for whatever the next step is. Several years ago, I had to write down. It just, it compelled me. I had to get a pen and I had to write on a piece of paper, do not plan. I'm literally a planner for a living <laughs> and planning and setting goals and striving to achieve those goals has just been my personality my whole life. So to tell me not to plan, God was up to something. And the second part of that was leave all future tasks and results in my hand. One of the things we like to do as Christians, or just people, is we'll pray and we'll feel led to do something. That's my purpose. This is my purpose, whatever. So we get something in our head that we really believe we're supposed to do. Then we say, thanks God, and go run and do it. And try to do it in our own strength. And sometimes we're successful, but we usually burn out because we're not supposed to do it in our own strength. Pastor Ernie Post in Tampa, Florida taught me one time that most of the verbs in the Bible are a verb tense that is in Spanish but is not in English the nosotros tense, the we verb. But just the conjugation of vamos, we know that that means we go in Spanish. Well, the Greek has a tense like that where these verbs are we verbs. The Sermon on the Mount, every verb was one of those verbs. We're not supposed to do it with him without him. We're supposed to do it in conjunction with him, abiding in the vine, our hand in his. And none of us knows what to expect of tomorrow. So my situation really isn't any different than anybody else's right now. People are saying, most people are saying, okay, Joe Biden's going to be sworn in on January 20th, but there's a whole lot of people saying, no, that's not going to happen. So we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. But that's okay. Because God does. He knows the end of the story. He doesn't operate in the same time frame we do. And he's got this. So please share this with anybody that you know. Please subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. Because if this is what God wants me to do, I'm gonna need your help. If he's laid it on your heart that somebody might wanna go through this journey with me, please share it with them. Share it on your social media. 
I'm just going to keep obeying and making videos. And we can all watch God's, what God's going to do. Because it's his game. He's in control. And I surrender to him now. Lord, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You've already got a plan up there. Jeremiah 29, 11, I love that. I love that verse. God knows the plans he has for us. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. So those of us that have gone through life where things just didn't seem to work out, Everything seemed harder than everybody else. I believe that we were being prepared for a time like this. Where now all the people that had the easy life are going, what do I do now? The government says I can't go to work. I can't provide for my family. I can't do what I need to do. He has a plan, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you. And I don't mean just money, it's by, we all know we need today's funds to pay the rent, but all we need to be concerned about is today. The only thing we can live is the present. The past is gone. The future's not here yet. The only way to truly live is right now, in this moment. And I pray that God will show you each and every moment today His will for you. What's the next step, Lord? I'm ready to walk on water in the storm. Just raise up that next rock. And I will jump toward it. Thank you guys for sharing this with me. Thank you for staying till the end. Lord, I lift up every person here. Fill them with a peace that passes all understanding. Let your presence be. Just fill every home every being, every car. Tap into who you are. Thanks again, guys. See you tomorrow.